Okay, real quick. Sorry, uh, I forgot something. I forgot that this was part of this section. So we really quick want to talk about um, how to graph linear inequalities. Okay, um, and it's pretty simple. It's the same way you graph any line. You're looking for the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, of course, you want to get the y by itself before you try to graph anything. Uh, but we do just have um, a couple of rules that we need to remember. So it says graph this the same way as you graph 2x plus 3, right? You start at the y-intercept of 3. The slope is 2, so you, 2 positive, 2 over 1, so it's up and to the right, up to right 1, which, of course, could also be down to left 1. Okay, now you just have a couple decisions to make. First, it says use the correct type of line, okay? If, I'll switch colors, if you've got just a regular inequality, okay, then it's a dashed line. If you have an or equal to inequality, like, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, then it's a solid line. I always say this, like look at these, look at these inequalities here. I say, if you see a line, draw a line. If you don't, dash it, right? Look at your symbol. If your symbol has a line under it, if you see a line, draw a line. If your symbol doesn't have a, da a line under it, if you don't see a line, dash it, okay? So now I look at my inequality type. I don't see a line, okay? So... I'm going to dash. And then you just shade above or below the line. Okay, above or below the line. Use your common sense here. That inequality says y is less than 2x plus 3. Okay, if it says less than, then you want to shade below. If it says greater than, then you would shade above. So you just, it says less than, so you shade below. Now, why are you shading? Why do we need these different types of lines? The shaded area is where the correct answers are. Okay, so for instance, every point in the shaded area will make the inequality true. Let's pick an easy one like zero, zero. That's in the shaded area. Is zero less than two times zero plus three? Yes, zero is less than three. See, that made it true. Any point up here, like say, for instance, uh, let me get a different color again. This point right here would make it false. Then if you have a correct answer region and an incorrect answer region, then uh, it's kind of a natural question to say, well, what about the points that are on the border? So the dashed line is the border. If the line is dashed, then points on that line are, are not correct. If the line is solid, then points on that line are correct. Okay, that's the difference in the two. Um, now, oh man, I want to so you can see, I want to erase some of this stuff. Okay, um, I'm going to go back to, let me find a graph here. <clears throat> I just want, again, I want to use this for its graph, okay? Because then they're going to they're going to want you to relate that to absolute value. All right, so let's just do one together here. Let's say that we had y is uh, less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus 2 plus 3. All right, well, think about the transformation. Inside, minus 2, that's right 2. Outside, plus 3, that's up 3. So I'm going to start right 2, up 3 right here. There's nothing to stretch this v, so it just has the up 1, right 1 slope on the right side, the up 1, left 1 slope on the left side. Now, I'm going to look at my inequality symbol and follow my rules. So I look at my inequality symbol. I see a line. It says or equal to. I see a line, so I draw a line. I use a solid line. Okay, next, it says y is less than. Less than is below again. So look, below is below the vertex. So it's all down here. All down here. Above, and I'll... Try your above would have been above the vertex. It would have been the inside the V in that case. Okay, inside the V with that case. In that case, some other examples. You know, some people are more visual. Like if I had a V like this below this V below, if you want to shade below, now you're inside here. You're below the vertex. If you want to shade above this random V above above the vertex is out here. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And I mean that, that's about it. Remember that when you're doing absolute value, if there's a if there's a coefficient, if there's a number out here, that that's the slope of your v. Okay. All right. I think that's finally all I got. See you in class.